It's showtime. It's on a musical that will live long in the hearts of all of us, for it was originated by one of America's best-loved showmen. It's George M. Cohan week on Showtime, for the great song and dance man wrote the music, the words, and the story for our current production. It's pretty Nellie Kelly starring Gordon McRae and Jane Powell. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, the music arranged and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Here now is the first act of Pretty Nellie Kelly. try to get your Irish up is the Bronx Romeo, Jerry Conroy. And Janie Powell is looking sharp as a shamrock for the title role of Little Nellie Kelly. Hey, where's Nellie? We want to see Nellie Kelly. Where's Auntie Nellie? Officer Kelly, is your daughter home? Oh, hello there, Jerry, me boy. Nellie, the boys are here for you again. How many, Father? The usual number, half a hundred or so. <laughs> Jerry Conroy in the lead. Ask them to sing a song till I'm ready. Okay, Nelly. Come on, fellas. It's the same old song they sing. I love you. The boys are all mad about Nelly, the daughter of Officer Kelly. And it's all day long they bring flowers all dripping with dew. And they join in the chorus of Nelly, Kelly, I love you. Wholesome and plain, right as the rain, Nellie's the one they are all for. Hundreds of bows each fellow knows. 
shows All of the others She treats them like brothers The rich and the poor Each one is sure He is the fellow she'll fall for Nobody's ever guessed And she's never confessed If there's any particular boy It's the same old song And it's all day long they bring flowers all dripping with dew, and they join in the chorus of Nelly, Kelly, I love you. <laughs> here she comes, here comes Nelly now. Hiya, Nelly. Hello, boys. Hello, hey. Derry. Nelly, you're all dressed up. Well, when you work at a dress shop, you've got to look your best. Let's go, Nelly. I've got a boat reserve down at Central Park. I thought we'd go out in the lake in the moonlight. Sure, and what would you do with my Nellie out on the lake in Central Park in the <laughs> moonlight? Oh, I'd think of something. Think of oh, something. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, I'm sorry, but I've got some bad news for you. I'm going to have to work tonight. You're working at the dress shop on Monday night? Well, Mr. Devere called up and said it was something urgent. Gee, I'm awfully sorry. Well, it's just that so many of the fellas want to take you out, and when my turn comes, I, I hate to be disappointed. Oh, but I go out with you more than the rest. Yes, but I'm in love with you, Nellie. Can't you choose out one of us from the gang? Me, for instance? Oh, but that wouldn't be fair to the rest. After all, you're all my boys. Every one of you, you're all my boys. Wonderful boys. Dozens and dozens, a regular song. Simply precede me and follow along. Because you're all my boys. It's the fun of them that makes you such wonderful boys. They come in groups and Wherever I talk, up, down, 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 right on the spot. I must confess, I guess I worship the Lord because they're all my wonderful boys. All your boys, every one of us, we're all your boys. My wonderful boys, dozens and dozens of a regular throng. We simply precede me and follow along because we're all your boys. Gee, Nelly. I'm sorry I have to work tonight, Jerry. Can I drop into the dress shop to see you later on? Why, Jerry Conroy, I didn't know you were interested in ladies' dresses. Only when Nelly Kelly's inside them. <laughs> hurry, Nelly, hurry. Why, what's the matter, Mr. Devere? Where are we going? To a party at Mr. Lloyd's house. But I, I don't understand. Mr. I... Lloyd is a millionaire, Nelly, and he's my best customer. If he wants all the girls from Devere's to come to his mansion for a party, who is Devere to say no? Well, little Nellie Kelly is saying no. Uh, now, please, Nellie. Mr. Lloyd's a very nice young man. <laughs> and he has such a pretty checkbook. But he's mixing business with pleasure. Who says you have to have a good time? Be miserable. Let's go, Nellie. <laughs> Ah, oh, Miss Kelly, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, it was very kind of you to invite all of us here, Mr. Lloyd. May I make a confession? I asked all of the girls from the Beers to come here only so that I could invite you. Oh, Mr. Lloyd. Now, ever since I first saw you modeling dresses in the Beers shop, I've been in love with you. Well, I'm, I'm very flattered, Mr. Lloyd, but... There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, Nellie Kelly. Hey, open, open the door. <laughs> open the door, I say. Open up. Well, what do you want? I'm looking for my girl. Jerry, Jerry, what's the matter? Are you all right, Nellie? Well, of course I'm all right. Hey, what's the idea of breaking into my party? Well, I dropped by the dress shop, Nellie, and it was all dark. Then I saw you getting into a cab, so I followed you here. Oh, Jerry, you shouldn't have. I was worried about you. I thought maybe you'd do something you shouldn't. Oh, nonsense, my boy. I brought her here myself. All the girls from Mr. DeVere's shop are here as my guests. Oh, oh, that's different. I, I, I didn't understand. In fact, before this evening is over, I hope I can persuade Miss Nellie Kelly to become... Mrs. Jack Lloyd. Oh, oh, I oh, oh, Mr. Lloyd, I, I didn't have any idea that... Well, that's all right, Nellie. 
I guess I just didn't know how things were, so. Oh, but Jerry, this is a bigger surprise to me than it is to you, believe me. Well, I guess I know what you'll do. Golly, it's wonderful having a millionaire like Mr. Lloyd ask you to be his wife. Why, he can buy you anything you want in the world. Oh, Jerry, you know I wouldn't marry a man just because he's rich. Ah, uh -huh, but Mr. Lloyd is handsome, too, and young. Oh, I'm sure going to be lonesome without you, Nellie. Oh, Jerry, don't talk like that. Ah, uh, I guess you know why I fell in love with you, don't you? Well, not exactly, Jerry. You remind me of my mother. My mother was a lot like you. So many little things you do. I find they bring to mind my mother. I never thought there'd be another would have that sweet appeal or could make me feel that the old fool world was real. I've got a tin type of my mother when mother was a girl like you. You look a lot alike, you do. Her hair was just as fair, her eyes you to twinkle just the same as your eyes do. You remind me of my mother, that's why. be the thief? No, no, it's not true. Jerry wouldn't steal anything. Well, then where is he? He disappeared while the lights were out. No. No, no, I can't believe that Jerry would do such a thing. Why, why just a minute ago, he was singing to me. You remind me.
flowers all dripping with you. And they join in the chorus of Nelly Kelly, I love you. <laughs> We're ready now for the second act of George M. Cohan's Little Nellie Kelly, starring Gordon McRae and his guest, Jane Powell. Everybody thought I was the fellow who stole the pearls at Jack Lloyd's party, but I didn't know anything about it. I was feeling so discouraged about losing Nellie that I, I just started out the door when the lights went out and dropped in at the station house to see Officer Kelly. Is that you, Jerry, my boy? Yes, it's me, Officer Kelly. Is Nellie with you? No, she's not. I don't think I'll be seeing Nellie anymore from now on. How's that now? A Conroy can't be holding a grudge against a Kelly. No, no, of course not. I think the Kellys are the finest people to come out of Ireland. Don't you know that? Sure, I know it. But it makes me proud to hear somebody else say it besides me. <laughs> well, I'll say it any day of the week. <laughs> What's the greatest, grandest name? Kelly is the name we say. Kelly with a capital K. What's the name that's known for fame? Kelly is the name we say. Synonymous with no K. By Killarney's lakes, I swear you never were so right before. It's the grandest name that ever came. From the dear old Emerald Shore The name of Kelly Has ruled for many a day There's a swing to the name And a ring to the name That commands the right away Oh, Brian and Brian and Sullivan And Mulligan all say That any Kelly with a K-E-double-L-Y Is more than common clay He's a king with a capital K The name of Kelly A ring to the name that commands the right away. Oh, Brian and Brian and Sullivan and Mulligan all say, say that any Kelly with the K-E-double-L-Y is more than common clay. He's a king with a capital. King with a capital. King with a capital K. Uh, it pains me to interrupt them kindly sentiments, Jerry, me boy, but I'll have to answer me telephone. Precinct 29, Officer Kelly speaking. What? You don't say. I'll be on the spot in a moment with me boy. What's up, Officer Kelly? Oh, 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 there's bad news tonight. One of them rich society women had her pearls snitched from around her neck. And I've got to find the culprit who did the snitching. You want to come along with me, Jerry, me boy? Sure, sure, Officer Kelly. You can mind the siren. Good. Come on, boys. Oh! <laughs> Officer Kelly, I can't go in there. A Kelly and a Conroy can go into any mansion on this horse. Follow me. No, no, no. I, I shouldn't have come. We're glad you're here, officer. Say, that is fast service. He's already caught the criminal. Well, congratulations. <laughs> yes, congratulations, Officer Kelly. Yes, congratulations, Officer Kelly. You've caught the criminal. You've... Now, wait a minute, Kelly. You don't know what they're talking about. What criminal? Well, this young man with you. He crashed my party, then ran off with my Aunt Pearl. Oh, there must be some mistake. He... Nellie, what in blazes are you doing here? Oh, it's a party, Dad. 
for all the girls from the beer. Officer, I demand that you arrest this young man. Young Jerry here? Why, this boy never stole anything. I didn't take the pearls. Then why did you disappear when the lights went out? <laughs> I... Now, just a minute. Well, let me... Please, please, just a minute now. Uh, let me talk with Jerry alone, and I'll find out what really happened. Well, all right, Nellie. Come on, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, tell me. Why did you run away? Well, Nellie, I... I wanted to get out of your life as fast as I could. I didn't realize you were so much in love with this millionaire. Oh, Jerry, don't you know I couldn't love a man like Jack Lloyd? No. And can't you guess who I'm really in love with? There's a tiny voice I hear Down deep in my heart There's a song so soft Love me? Would you marry me? Well, perhaps, if you'd ask me. Uh, just a moment, please. I still think this man is a thief. Oh, you're wrong, Mr. Lloyd. Then who did take the pearl? I'll find the culprit for you. Where's DeVille? <laughs> did somebody want me? Search that man. Oh, no, no, please, please don't search me. Why not? Because I'm ticklish. Come over here now. <laughs> no. Come on. No. Tether it oh. up. Oh. Oh. Cut it up. <laughs> These the last pearls? Yes, yes, all my beautiful pearls. Thank you, officer. How did you know that Mr. DeVere was a thief? Have you seen the prices he charges for them dresses in his stores? <laughs> He's been stealing money from the women of New York for years. Well, I, well I, I think I owe you an apology, Mr. Conroy. And I think you owe him some congratulations, too. Oh? I've asked Nellie to marry me, and she's accepted. What? Well, that, that's wonderful. Of course, I can't give her all the rich things you could buy for her. Oh, but, but I'll be happy, Jerry, with whatever we have. All I can promise is a cozy little home until my luck comes rolling along. When you have the necessary, when the bills come due, for the butcher and the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, all I can promise is that I'll be on the level and the things will never go wrong. In the loneliness, you remember that we don't Well, all I can promise is a happy disposition and a wild desire to succeed. Will you always pay the damage when the rent comes due? Will I always be protected, never, never neglected? Oh, I'd like to give you everything there is to give and will as soon as I'm strong. But all I can promise is a cozy little home Until the luck comes rolling along All you can promise is a cozy little home Until your luck comes rolling along You know you have the necessary when the bills come due For the butcher and the baker and the candlestick maker Oh, I'd like to give you everything there is To give and will as soon as I'm strong 
song. But all I can promise is a cozy little home until the luck comes rolling along. Ah, congratulations to you, Jerry, my boy. Yes, congratulations and best wishes, Nellie. Oh, thank you, Jack. You no, know, I should have known that only a Conroy could marry a Kelly. Say, what's going to happen to Mr. DeVere, officer? He's going out of the dress business for a while. I think you'll find him engaged in road work for the government, wearing a striped suit. Then I'm going to buy DeVere's shop and give it as a wedding present to little Nellie Kelly. And I'll make the first purchase, Nellie's wedding gown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the same old song they sing. I love you. The boys are all mad about Nellie, the daughter of Officer Kelly. And it's all day long they bring flowers all dripping with dew. And they join in the chorus of Nellie Kelly, I love you. I love you. It's the same old song they sing, I love you. The boys are all mad. And it's all day long they bring flowers all dripping with you, and they join in the chorus of Nelly Kelly. I love you. the Showtime curtain falls on another outstanding musical success. This week we've presented Little Nellie Kelly by America's great song and dance man, George M. Cohen. Jane Powell was heard in the title role, and Gordon McRae starred as Jerry Conroy. Our choir was under the direction of Norman Luboff, the music arranged and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Showtime is a presentation of the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education.